Well, hello, Evergreen Middle School. Hey, let's chat a little bit about safety glasses today. So, uh, over the course of the trimester, you are going to need a pair of safety glasses uh, when you're here at school working. And if you're at home working in the shop, you should have glasses on as well. Anytime you're running any type of power equipment, uh, I would think it would be a good practice to have on some kind of uh, safety glasses, okay? So, I have all kinds of different pairs I want to share with you today and talk about the good and the bad and the ugly and what works and what doesn't work, okay? So, let me start by saying uh, the school district has a requirement that anytime you're in the room, whether you're running power equipment or not, if you're physically in the shop and the possibility exists that someone could turn on a piece of equipment, you must have on safety glasses, so, having said that, uh, let's chat a little bit about what are acceptable and what are uh, not acceptable safety glasses. You cannot wear ski goggles. That doesn't work, okay? So, what the district says in their requirements is they must fit you, they must be clear, the lenses must be perfectly clear, and they must be OSHA approved. So, uh, let me, I got some samples here that I'd like to share with you, okay? This is the first set. Um, this is a pair of uh, DeWalt safety glasses. Um, they're comfortable, they fit well, but they're a little pricey. These are kind of expensive. Um, and uh, I can tell you, um, if your parents are running out to buy you a new pair every week because you're not taking good care of it, they're going to get tired of that in a real big hurry. But notice the frames are black, but the lens that you look through is perfectly clear. It cannot be tinted, it cannot be mirrored in any way. Okay. So I always have kids that show up with really cool glasses, go check them out. They're sweet. And I'm like, huh, huh, you can't wear those. They have to be clear, okay? So we just want to make sure your parents aren't running back and forth to the store twice because as a parent, that would drive me nuts. All right, so this is a pair of DeWalt. Uh, I think these are running 17 to 20 bucks. That's pretty expensive. The next one down, this is a cheaper pair of glasses. Uh, I believe these came from Big R, um, and they work really well. They uh, These arms come way around, so they fit kids pretty well. These are the $10 or $12 mark, um, and they work pretty good. Okay, uh, next option. This is the old standard, and I can't remember where they these came from. These might have come from Home Depot. These are the cheapest least expensive pair of safety glasses. They tend to fit kids the best. So uh, these work really well for those of you uh, that are younger and they are really cheap. I have seen these as low as 99 cents. So you do not need to go spend a ton of money for these when you can buy these, okay? So uh, these work as well as this. It's not like one is safer than the other. Uh, this works really well. I would encourage you, if you find these, and they are as cheap as $0.99 cents or $1.99, get a couple pairs, okay? What happens is you guys put these in your backpack, and you don't take good care of them, and you crush them and break them. One of the problems we have this year is I cannot loan you safety glasses, okay? Because it's uh, with the pandemic, that's not safe. You need to have your very own pair, and they need to be here every day. If you show up here without your safety glasses, you can't work in the shop, and that's going to be awful, okay? Hey, one last thing I want to share with you about safety glass. This is a pair of goggles, okay? And why they do meet the criteria of the class, uh, let me tell you, when it's hot and gross and you're going to be wearing these for 90 minutes, these are really uncomfortable and they don't work very well, okay? So I would avoid those. Uh, that's not a great option. If you're already wearing glasses, let's say you're one of our students that wears glasses, um, there is a solution. They do make a pair of safety glasses. I don't have them with me. I uh, left mine at home, but they do make safety glasses that are very inexpensive, uh, somewhere in the 3 to $5 range that are designed to fit over glasses, okay? And I think those are a great option for those of you that already wear glasses. Uh, a pair that will slide over those would be a really good option, okay? So we want to make sure that everybody has a pair of safety glasses this year. Want to make sure they come with you every day you come to school, that you have tech ed those glasses need to come with you. Unfortunately, they won't allow us to put them in lockers here, uh, so you'll have to carry them back and forth. I'm still trying to come up with some clever way of storing them here, but I haven't yet. Um, so get a pair of glasses. Uh, when you get here the first day, we'll put your name on them with the engraver so that if you lose them, we can get it back to you. Uh, and that is our spiel about classes. The sooner you get them, the better. I need, uh, there's 150 kids in my class this trimester that are going to need glasses. There are not 150 pairs of safety glasses in Evergreen, which means some of you will be going down the hill to get your glasses. 
The earlier you take care of it, the less likely you're going to have to head down the hill. All right. Have fun. Get some glasses. Make sure they fit. And we'll see you in class.